Hey guys, Bob Drum here, a Glimish community contributor. I want to show you something real quick on how to set up your profile on Glimish.tv. So I'm assuming you've already registered and secured your username for your profile. So once you go to Glimish.tv, you'll go to sign in, enter the email address and password you used to register with. This will take you back to the homepage, but you'll be logged in under your profile. In the upper right, you'll click on that, go to settings. So here is your profile. Now you'll notice here I have a basic generic image here. It's not my logo or anything like that. I'm just using this for illustration purposes. Um, then you have your display name, your language, social, that you'll put in your username on your social, and then Instagram, Discord, everything like that. You can also put in a YouTube teaser URL. If you have a YouTube channel, like a montage video would be good for something like that. Um, and then you have your profile content. This work can get kind of tricky. So I'm going to switch over to the tab of my actual profile. And you'll see here, you know, how Glimish has it laid out with your profile picture, followers, your social links. Uh, here's the YouTube video, which is a montage from my YouTube page. And then you have description for the profile, which contains text, images, anything you want to put in there. But how to get the images in there and how to learn the bolding italics and the text formatting is a little can be a little tricky for folks that aren't used to it um, one thing that helped me is markdownguide.org and this has everything listed on it on how to put emphasis on different pieces of text how to insert images everything like that so let's go back to my profile editor and you can just type in text here if you notice i have two asterisks before and after my uh, username, Bubdrum, and that will actually bold the text that is contained in between those two asterisks. And then for images, um, use a service like, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce it, Imgur, Imgur, and I have an account there and I have my images I created in Photoshop. And you'll want to use the markdown link. So you hit copy and then come back in here and you would paste it and you can see I have the two images here pasted with those uh, Imgur links, Imgur links, whatever. And the only thing you really have to do to get them to show up correctly is just put an exclamation point in front of it. You're going to get the hang of it and put all your images in there. It's going to look great. One other thing I want to show you is your profile picture. So it's supposed to be 200 by 200 pixels. And some of you may say, well, Bub, I don't know what the heck a pixel is. Is that something from the metric system? I don't know what that means. What is that? So it's about approximately an inch by an inch. It's actually like 0.83 inches by 0.83 inches. Um, you can get free software that'll help you with that, like GIMP. I'm personally used to Photoshop and I have Photoshop. So let's just take a, a quick look at that and how you go about doing that. So here's my logo. I'm actually going to show you that it is actually 2400 by 2400 pixels. I'm going to just expand it so it fills up as much of this space as it possibly can without distorting it too much. That looks good. And the tools are relatively the same in GIMP and some other applications. Um, so if the tools aren't exactly laid out or not named the same, just understand that's, that's common. So what we're going to do is we're going to resize the image. Um, and right now you can see I have it in pixels. But I'm going to set my rulers to inches. And right now you can see it's like 8 by 8 inches. But if we go to image, image size, 200 by 200 pixels. It's going to resize it. And you're like, dear God, no one's going to be able to see that. Well, if you notice up here, we're zoomed out 31%. So we need to bring that in, zoom in. So we're going to zoom in 100%. And now if you look at your rulers, we're going to start at 0 to one inch. We're just shy of one inch, but over a little bit of three quarters of an inch um, length and width. So that's 200 by 200. We're just going to go ahead and save this. Let's call it Bub Drum Logo 200 by 200. So you can come in here, choose your logo file, hit open, click update. And there we have it. So now we can refresh our profile page and we have our new image. 
And yeah, that's about it. Hope you have fun editing and updating your profile and customizing it. Um, don't forget to join the Discord for Glimmish if you want to get involved in the community. It's uh, discord.gg slash Glimmish. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Take care.